Welcome to another edition of Refresh Live. So before we start, over the last few videos we've had a few comments about people wanting to know who's behind the camera. So are you ready Amelia? Are you ready? There she is. This is Amelia. <laughs> there she is. Right, anyway. Get your sidetracked. So this week we thought we'd talk about an amazing supplier to my Deli Fresh called Taste of the Lakes. Now they produce, really, just pan down here, they produce some beautiful, beautiful cooked and cured meat products, which we're going to go through very quickly. We're probably going to just take about five minutes of your time and we're going to open these up, taste them all and get all excited. But before we get stuck into them, Amelia, come over here. Just to let you know, these beautiful Mirabelle plums that have come all the way from France are just about to finish. And then these at the back of me, what are they called? Lime. No, it's a green gauge. So this is a type of plum. Now, if you bite these, maybe you ready? Oh yeah, sweet. Really, really nice. So Mirabelle's, you might actually be able to see a few little plums growing in the hedgerows as you walk around the, uh, with your dogs around the countryside. It's plum season now. They will not be around for long. Probably be around about another two to three weeks. The green gauges will go a bit longer. We've also got the swan plums and we've got damsons on my deli fresh as well, all available. Now, coming back in, I mean, look back here. We've got some new cheese starting, just back off a little bit, there you go. So beautiful uh, wedge of fantastic breeder more and a wedge of Parmesan cheese. That'll be coming into my deli fresh pretty soon. And then I had to show these, I found these in the fridge and I just had to show you. These are English blackberries, dessert blackberries. Look at the size on these. These are like eating sweets. They're absolutely massive. This year's blackberry season is brilliant. So we've got some nice blackberries there, Amelia. And look at the size of these ones. The world's most delicate fruit. The only fruit with no centre. These are English raspberries. These are massive and full and full of juice. Look at them, how fantastic they are. And then at the back, Amelia, here we've got Yorkshire red cheese. We've got double uh, Yorkshire cheddar, and then we've got an extra mature Yorkshire cheddar as well, all from Wensdale, all fantastic cheeses. And then last but not least, a used milk fettle, fine fettle from Shepherd's Purse. So some really cool new products on my Deli Fresh for this week. Taste of the lakes. So who are they? About 10 years ago, we met uh, Robson and his family, David, and all his sons who live up in Maryport, and they had Taste of the Lakes. They produced some beautiful, beautiful, uh, uh, products and the first product we started out was the smoked chicken. Now I've tasted so many smoked chickens in our lifetime at Deli Fresh, it's unbelievable. And this has got to be the finest smoked chicken in the UK. They brine the chicken and then they really slowly smoke it over applewood until it's fully cooked. It's a fully cooked product and it is fantastic. Now you can also heat it up uh, so you can rewarm it up and you'll have a, an amazing experience. That's £3.25. That was one of the only products we started out with them and then we started to develop our relationship and they started to create products for chefs uh, that chefs can use in the kitchens um, to reduce the complexity and bring some really amazing flavours to the plate. So we did a smoked duck, it's again a beautiful uh, smoked duck breast, you cut that it's pink inside and fat should we do that? Do you like it? Yeah. So this again, just like the chicken, has been uh, has been brined and then smoked, and then when you cut it in half, Amelia, you can see there, it's just ready to slice really thinly and eat, and it's like eating butter, it'll just melt on the palate. Oh, it smells, it smells amazing. So that's smoked duck, smoked chicken. Uh, what else have we got, Amelia, here? So then we started to develop, we started to think, what do we bring back from abroad? So we used to bring back lots and lots of pancetta out of Italy. Um, so we worked with a team at Taste of Lakes to create an amazing recipe for pancetta. So rather than it being like a smoked uh, back bacon, which a lot of pancetta that's made in the UK is, um, we've got a really sophisticated recipe that goes on the uh, on the meat. And you can see it's a dry rub. So if you're looking there, we'll just open this up actually and you'll be able to see. So we get back bacon, uh, back belly pork, sorry, and then we cure it. Can you see the cure on the actual skin of the meat and on the, uh, the inner side of it? We cure it really, really gently, and then it's smoked and then sliced really thin, and that will be the finest pancetta uh, you can buy. A big 500 gram pack of pancetta is 5.95 for a large 500 gram pack. 
And then down here, Amelia, you can get it diced as well. So a little 250 gram pack of diced pancetta is £3.50. So that's really nice as, as well. So then we started thinking, right, pancetta, smoked duck, smoked chicken. What else? What else can we do? And they were doing lots of ham at that time. Uh, lots of cooked ham, so we got this pack of cooked ham. Now, if you look at the reviews on mydelifresh.com and look at the reviews for cooked ham, this is possibly the best cooked ham you'll ever try. And then we've got smoked cooked ham as well. So that's a, the, the large cooked ham there, 500 gram pack Amelia there. That one is £5.75. You get over 20 slices and the slices are really generous. If you look here, they're really, it's really, I should have opened all these before we started. Really large, just nice and thick sliced piece of ham. Smells beautiful, and that is will be the best time you try. But then this smoked version is a 250 gram pack, and that one is three pounds seventy-five. So a lot, a lot more work goes into it. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller than the large one because a lot of the fat kind of renders down with the smoke. But it tastes beautiful. Oh, I'm here. Cooked sliced beef for hot beef sandwiches. That'd be epic, wouldn't it? What could you do with a ham as well, Amelia? What might you do with a ham? Have it in a sandwich, have it, in a, have it in a toasty. But you could also chop that up and put it through like a penne pasta, like a carbonara instead of bacon. You could do that. The beef, you could have in a hot beef sandwich, couldn't you? You could do lots of stuff with the beef. It's really nice for sandwiches um, with onions, caramelized onions and lots of stuff like that. And then look back here, Amelia, pastrami. A nice pack of pastrami is, in fact, we need to talk about the beef. How, how much is the beef? I ain't got it down here. I don't know which it is. We'll put it on the bottom of the thing and the pastrami, I ain't got the price down even, so we'll put that on the bottom as well. So it's not expensive at all. Now this is a silver side of beef, which is which is cured, rubbed in spice, and then smoked. And this is epic. I've got memories of going to like a pastrami, it would be a pastrami cafe, but it was a cafe in London, having the most amazing pastrami on rye with gherkins, really tall stack sandwich with little tiny alamette fries. Oh, and that, that the flavour of this just brings those memories back. So really good, Northern produced pastrami, which is cool. And then look at this one, turkey pastrami as well, which, which again, a little bit of a take on normal beef pastrami, but turkey breast. So very similar, we've got all the different herbs and spices, all rubbed into the breast, and then it's smoked, fully cooked, ready to go. I'm gonna put it in my mouth and just like, won't be able to talk for a few minutes. Can you hear the dog walking around? Yeah, I'll buy one, what? It's just smelling all me. Oh. Oh, it's really nice. It's kind of like spicy, peppery. The meat, the texture of the meat is really, really moist. It just melts me. Look, you want a bit? Do you want to try a bit of that? Really good. What do you think of that? Nice. Nice. So again, so the camera's wobbling because she's stuffing her face. So again, made up in Maryport by the team. And then we've also got, Amelia, what else have we got down here? Ah, comfy duck. Now you might think, what is that? That just looks like a, what is it? It's like jelly and fat. But actually, if you open this up in here, if you open it up, we used to buy, Comfy duck out of France. So we used to import this product out of France and a lot of chefs will actually make this themselves, uh, but this takes the strain out of doing so. So rather than it coming back from France, taste of the lakes, make it for us. There we go. So all you need to do is pull it out of its fat, pop it on a tray and pop it in the oven for about 35 minutes to 40 minutes and that'll crisp up like the picture below, and that is a, an amazing experience. One second. William, will you just shut the door? That dog's barking outside. <laughs> right, so you put it in the oven, crisp it up, really nice. Perfect like red cabbage with mash, but we're gonna have it with wraps. It's not doing that way, William, which is really cool. What else we've got? Bratwurst, or big dogs, as we call them, the finest smoked sausage. Pre-cooked, they're already cooked, so you can slice them and eat them as they are or you can get them on the barbecue, they are absolutely epic. So char them up on the barbecue in a massive hot dog bun, loads of caramelised onions, loads of mustard, loads of ketchup on top, the finest, poshest, poshest hot dog on the planet, or even just get them under the grill and, and toast them around in the grill. You can slice them up, put them through pasta, you can do lots and lots of nice stuff.
So bratwurst, sausages, smoked duck, smoked beef, smoked ham, pastrami, turkey pastrami, pancetta, comfy duck, and then we, we then started thinking, right, these guys are absolutely awesome. They've become an, a really good extension to our business. So what else can we do? How else can we kind of give them more value for and make sure they're here for years to come? So they're not just doing the core commodity products. And this is what Delifresh and my Delifresh do really well with our suppliers. We really embrace them to get more from them so they're bringing them more income and making them here and sustainable for, for future years. So then we thought, right, what else? What else do we do? We used to bring lots and lots of terrines from France, the classic pâtés, parfaits, like ham hock pressings and stuff like that. So we started to develop this uh, new range with them and uh, now they're available on My Deli Fresh. Just go and check the reviews out on the ham hock terrine. People love it because it's a little 500 gram terrine all ready to go. And that, Amelia, is 5.95. And watch this. All you need to do, if you love cheese, if you're on like Saturday night cheese board, this is perfect. Just cut it out, pop it out, boop, just come straight out and then you can slice it. So if you're having a dinner party, or having people around on Sunday lunch, you could have it as a starter. Or if you've got like a little nice cheese or charcuterie board going on, you can just cut into it, slice it really thin and put it with nice little bits of jelly. Do try a bit of some here? Now the hocks, the ham hocks are uh, local hocks and then they're cooked and picked down and then pressed into a, into a nice terrine and the jelly is like an orange an orange scented jelly, so it's got a really delicate little thin uh, tinge of orange. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, it's really, really good. And then we've got this chicken liver parfait. Now, this is like a Brussels pate that you buy in shops that's like really, really kind of uh, a little bit grainy and really strong. It's a beautiful chicken liver. So, the chi you get the chicken livers, then they emulsify them with butter. Uh, and seasoning and then they cook it in a bambari in its little pouch all ready to go now because we posh we call it a parfait but actually it's a pate i suppose now this is a real afternoon late afternoon treat with a nice bottle of uh, bottle of wine or a cold beer or a saturday night if you're watching telly this is really nice it's a bit indulgent and the chicken liver parfait is, Amelia, how much is it? £4.75 for a 500 gram uh, half terrine mould. Really easy to do, you just pop it out, it should. This is like crunch time, isn't it, Amelia? This is crunch time because it might not, it might not even come out. Come on, are you coming out? Now you just need a wet knife, a hot wet knife. Just get the knife, put it in the sink, and then just cut it. Then you can see on this Amelia, have you seen there? How beautiful does that look? Oh, it is really, really good. It's seasoned to perfection. I'm just going to cut the edge off of that. I shouldn't do this, but we'll cut the we'll cut the corner off. Ah, oh, it is so smooth. It is beautiful. It tastes fantastic. It's really well seasoned. Perfect for crackers. Well, I'll tell you what else you can do with this. If you're making beef wellington, you can put this with the mushrooms to go around the beef. Ah, oh, that, is, that is my favourite product from Tesco X. These guys are on fire. All the products are made with, from the heart. They're all made with lots of love. They're all UK. They're up the road. They're delivered to us four times a week. They're our best friends. You need to try and embrace some of these fantastic products. So don't forget, this week we've got loads of new, loads of new products coming. William's just charging his iPad on, on the floor for some reason. Anyway, look at that. So, as well as the cheeses and all the new bits and bats, we've also got a new range of crisps from Yorkshire Crisps. We've got a natural sea salt. We've got, get this, an oyster lemon and chili flavour, which when you taste it, just tastes like eating oysters. It's un unbelievable. We've got a Worcester sauce. And we've also got a cheese and onion chutney. He's now tickling Amelia's feet. So, <laughs> what's he doing? Stop it, William. And then we've got some pies coming. We've got scones coming. We've got so much stuff coming in. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for the support. My Deli Fresh is here to stay from field to fork, delivered direct to your door. Absolutely brilliant. 
We'll see you soon. Thank you.